One body of work that stands out in Polyxenes' oeuvre, in its confronting brashness, is the series of Olympia wearing trashy masks and t-shirts, It's All About Me. Compared to her lyrical earlier works, they're brazen, impudent, in your face. Anyone could assume that Polixeni made a damning satire of today's youth, obsessed with selfies, projecting their boastful sexuality, calling upon the world to look at me, to get noticed and attract attention and likes on social media. There's so much concern about youth constructing itself on the basis of a sexually provocative image and always dumbing itself down. Older folk often love to deplore the direction that younger folk have recently taken, but Polixeni wasn't one of those critics. Take the picture that gives the series its title. The t-shirt says, it's all about me. When you think about it, that's actually a statement of self-awareness, not narcissism. If the lass acknowledges that something about herself is self-centred, she's smart and kind of self-critical. I could say to you, look, it isn't all about you. That means don't be so self-centred. The world doesn't have to revolve around you. But if I'm the one uh, formulating that view of myself as an egotist, and it's my voice saying it's all about me, I'm expressing some stern reservations with my own nature. Polixeni was not a judgmental person. She was bemused with the new world of social media and was keen to learn as much as she could from Olympia, who'd published an article about the zeal to get likes on social media. And then she published a couple more about the backlash against girls showing off. Olympia hated the girl shaming that arose in schools and public programs designed to keep youth from semi-pornographic exposure on social media. The reaction among authorities had been unimaginative and failed to see the subtleties of youth culture. With its memes and printed t-shirts full of hyperbole, youth culture is outrageous in a cool way, funny with dark humour, sarcastic, provocative, unsettling. The girl wearing the commercially available t-shirt, it's all about me, mocks herself, as in scores of posts per second, where someone knowingly quotes an ideal that they necessarily fall short of, or perhaps some archaic virtue that they'd be ashamed of. Youth has a new elliptical language infused with meta-fashion, double-speak, fake-fake, claims that are understood not to be claims at all, where innuendo is theatrically controlled and the sender delights in the confusion. These new ambiguous communications are commercially assisted, industrialised through fashion and more uh, canonical than the messages first appear to the agitated parental onlooker. The outrageous language and promiscuity are not necessarily designed for sexual success, but the stagecraft of brinkmanship. It appealed to Polixeni, who grew up, grew up under first wave feminism. She overcame the initial reflex of horror over girls marketing themselves as sex objects, stereotypes of caprice or indulgence, proud of being vulnerable when intoxicated, as the t-shirt boasts in Ask Me Again When I'm Drunk. Watching Olympia's forays into social media debate made her curious to understand better the meme-laden, critical visual language by which girls transact their identity today. In the photographs, Olympia puts on a mask to rehearse the ambiguous manipulation of cliches that abound around her. It's a world where you can declare that you're abject in order to rise above it, or feign sex doll status in order to intimidate anyone curious enough not to mind his or her own business. Teenage girls are faced with challenges that were not as powerful when Polixeni was growing up in the 70s. Teenagers now live in a more complex and demanding society that includes the internet, social media and its selfies, celebrity culture, designer culture and so on, all available as resources for performing identities. 
the phrase, it's all about me, is also ambiguous in another way. The words are emblazoned on Olympia's front, but is Olympia the me if Polyxeni is also saying it? To represent her daughter is still about the artist because the artist is reflected by her daughter model. It's definitely all about Polyxeni, even if it's all about Olympia. That wicked phrase, it's all about me, is not an accusation, but a sympathetic, a sympathetic call to connect ironically with the me, me, me in all of us. Polyxeni argued that feminism correctly forges political solidarity among women to galvanize women as us, us, us. But you still need to feel that it's all about you because you have to be able to identify with feminism personally. When Polyxeni began the series, she asked for a golden backdrop. I painted a luminous layered canvas as sumptuously as I could, and she shot the series, but then abandoned them. They weren't quite right. The backdrop insinuated too much sanctity on the model. We joked that they were her Byzantine babes collection. So instead, she decided to reshoot the images using coloured cardboard sheets and differentiating each work with complementary hues. It created an aesthetic unlike anything she'd attempted before. She wanted a slick commercial look to match the celebrity culture aspirations of a fashion shoot. The tart, the strumpet, the hussy, every pejorative in the misogynist lexicon can be thrown at these brassy pictures. But in the end, they joyfully make fun of a toxin for which they also provide the antidote, a wonderful blend of self-awareness and humour.